Recently, I've been feeling pretty bored, so I've decided to try something new. How about using ChatGPT to do chemistry? Now, at first, it did give me some really surprising experiments. However, after a bit of tweaking, I did get something that was reasonable. So, let's talk about the method that we're going to use for this experiment. To do this, we'll simply just need hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide, and then we can evaporate that to get salt. I started by gathering that I needed to do this experiment. First, I added 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid into a beaker, and then 25 milliliters of sodium hydroxide. The important thing was that we added 25 milliliters of sodium hydroxide and 20 milliliters of hydrochloric acid. This was because we wanted it in a stoichiometric ratio, which means that no reactants are left. So when we add the basic and acid together, we have a one-to-one -one ratio. However, this is dependent on the concentration of both the chemicals, which are shown on the screen. After a few minutes of boiling, we can finally see something starting to happen. We can see the water being trapped inside of the solution and some salt particles in there as well. Overall, I'd say that ChatGPT did a pretty well job on planning this. If you want to see more, please do subscribe, and I'll see you next time.